pretty well known to anybody watching by now that when asked a question, Trudeau replies to questions. He doesn't answer questions. This isn't an accident. It's not like he doesn't understand the question or doesn't know the answer. It doesn't matter what the question is. It doesn't matter how direct it is, how worthy of the importance of the matter at hand. It doesn't matter how desperately the Canadian people deserve an answer. The Prime Minister is going to say whatever he has chosen to say. Ironically, it goes against the original pledges by Trudeau and his party to lead a more open and transparent government. So in this video, we're going to see just how much Trudeau deflects questions and constantly avoids giving a straight answer. When asked for the first time in the latest questions period if he'll fire Marco Mendicino for misinforming the public, here was Trudeau's response. Mr. Speaker, for three weeks, uh, our uh, communities uh, here in Ottawa were facing uh, legal blockades. Uh, the work on Parliament was disrupted. Uh, supply lines uh, were challenged. Uh, border crossings were interrupted. Uh, people were losing their jobs and factories were closing. And Conservative uh, politicians stood with them, encouraging uh, these illegal blockades. Uh, we worked with police to give them uh, more tools. And when they asked for even more tools, uh, we delivered the Emergencies Act that allowed things to get back under control. Mr. Speaker, there are open and transparent inquiries into that, and we're uh, uh, working with them on everything like that. Okay, well, that didn't get much solved. Let's see what happens when another Conservative asks him pretty much the exact same question. Oh, Mr. Speaker, we can see very clearly how desperate the Conservatives are to try and change the channel from uh, the important work being done in the inquiry, in the uh, uh, follow-ups to the Emergencies Act to highlight uh, the challenges that these illegal blockaders uh, posed uh, to our economy, uh, to our municipalities, and to Canadians. Uh, Police asked us for more tools uh, because they said they were they couldn't uh, deal with the situation with the existing tools. We delivered the Emergencies Act uh, in a responsible, proportional way, which ended the crisis. At the same time, conservative politicians kept supporting these. Wow, I can't help but imagine this the way he manages his marriage. Justin, did you load the dishwasher? Honey, as a proud Canadian, um, uh, uh. Uh, I can't help but hold the venerable invention that is the modern uh, uh, dishwasher in um, the highest esteem. Uh, what this device can accomplish is really nothing short of um, amazing, and I am forever thankful that we have one. That's nice, honey, but are the dishes clean yet? And when she asks that, you know he'll repeat the exact same thing he just told her. Okay, so shall we try a third time? So when will the Prime Minister take immediate action and fire the Minister of Public Safety? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. While Conservative politicians were busy supporting and celebrating with barricaders along Wellington Street and uh, across the country, we were working with police who continually asked uh, for more help and more support to be able to deal with this public or, uh, order emergency. That's exactly what we continue to do throughout the three weeks uh, until and up, up to the moment in which we chose to bring in the Emergencies Act to restore uh, order to this country and uh, to the situation. We did it in a proportional and reasonable way, and it brought an end to these illegal actions. Remember? Damn, Justin just loves that soundbite and refuses to let go of it. So let's give it one last shot. Can Justin actually defy his own nature and give a straight answer? Here we go. Dear Lacombe. Mr. Speaker, the Minister of Public Safety's own department confirmed that the police did not ask for the Emergencies Act to be invoked, and now the Minister of Emergency Preparedness has also publicly agreed. In the Prime Minister's 2015 Opened and Accountable Government document, he wrote, For Canadians to trust our government, we must trust Canadians, and we will only be successful in implementing our agenda to the extent that we earn and keep this trust. The Minister of Public Safety has shattered that trust. Mm -hmm. When will the Prime Minister fire him? Honourable Prime Minister. 
Mr. Speaker, while Conservative politicians uh, were out there supporting barricaders, while they continue to support uh, those illegal actions, uh, we were working with law enforcement and municipal and provincial authorities across this country who were telling us they needed more tools. And we delivered more tools, whether it was uh, more police officers or more resources, uh, until we realized we needed to take a further step. And we chose to invoke the Emergencies Act to give them even further tools. We did it in a resp responsible and proportional way, and it worked, Mr. Speaker. Now, I don't care what side of the political fence you sit on, but this is total bullshit, and no politician, regardless of their party, should be allowed to deliberately, brazenly dodge answers like this. It's, it's shameful, it's counterproductive, it does absolutely nothing to help things move along. And this is all the more reason why I hope Pierre Podiev becomes uh, the next conservative leader, as I know he'll grind down what's left of Trudeau to a pulp whenever he tries this. So that's all for now, and it's sad that this is the way our system is run, but if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and if you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. I will see you in the next one.